Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here today to show you guys how I easily make Nook Miles tickets in Animal Crossing. Now I'll be showing you a whole bunch of different methods you can take advantage of and use to make a profit. Now before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that due to the current state of the world right now, I actually don't have a job anymore. And all the money I currently have that I could spend is going towards my insurance and my bills. Now the reason I'm telling you guys this is because I don't own a capture card. So all the gameplay you see in this video is recorded with the recording function on the Switch. Then it's imported to Twitter and then downloaded from Twitter and then I have to compile it from there. So it's a massive hassle and I hate it. But my girlfriend made a deal with me that if I get 20,000 views on any Animal Crossing video I make with this 30 second record function, she'll lend me the money for an Elgato. So if you guys find these tips helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you shared it with your buddies. Now without further ado, let's get straight into it. So for those of you who don't know what this is, let me introduce you to your money farm, or in this case, your ticket farm. This is a website called Nookazon. It's literally Amazon for everything in game in Animal Crossing. Now the website acts almost like a wiki where you can search for any item, material or villager in the game and it gives you their average selling price, their popularity, and it even shows people who are auctioning off those items or villages. Now Nookazon has a Discord server and I highly recommend this over the website as it's easier to contact people, sell items and make purchases. But you can link your Discord to the website and both can be used together. Now once you've clicked here to join the Discord, you can read the rules, click the tick and now you have access to all of these trade channels. There's a channel to sell your villages, your clothes, your recipes, produce, and even one that allows you to exchange bells for Nook Mile tickets or vice versa. Now I recommend you have a browse around the server if you're new and unfamiliar, and once you're comfortable with it, we can move on to making these sweet, sweet tickets. So method number one, villages. Now this isn't a method that is super useful to everybody, but I figured I'd put it in anyway. Now the most popular channel on the Nookason Discord server is easily the villager trade channel. Here people put up their villages for auction or off for sale and people DM them to make their offers. Now you often see people giving away some villages for free or decent villages for cheap because they often want to get them out of their village as soon as possible to free up a spot for someone else. If you're selling a villager in either bells or tickets, when that villager is moving out and is in the boxes stage, you can invite that buyer over to your village where they can pay you and then talk to that villager and convince them to move to their own island. If you're interested in buying villagers, it works the same way, just opposite. Keep in mind you need an empty slot to buy a new villager. Now if you go to this website that I'm going to link in the description, it shows you a popularity tier list of all the villages in the game and how much they are worth. Characters at the top such as Judy and Raymond can often be found selling for 800 to 1000 Nook Mile tickets each. Let me repeat that, 800 to 1000 Nook Mile tickets. Now if any of you have one of these villages, all I'm going to say is that out of 800 Nook Mile tickets, you have a decently good chance of finding that villager again. So if you sold Raymond for 800 Nook Mile tickets, you could find him again and only spend 200 tickets, leaving you with 600 spare. Just some food for thought for those out there with the top tier villages. Method number two involves collecting and selling high demand resources. There are so many people on this discord server that are willing to pay tickets for stacks of wood, iron, sticks, and even fish bait. Now if you really want to profit though, you should be aiming to sell seasonal resources. Now I know a lot of the community resents time traveling, and it's pretty funny actually because these people that refuse to time travel will still buy blossoms of people who do time travel. But if they're giving me tickets then I'm not going to complain. So the demand for cherry blossom petals from spring and the acorns and pine cones from fall has skyrocketed recently. Just last night someone paid me 10 Nook Mile tickets for 10 pine cones. Yeah, I got paid 10 Nook Mile tickets to time travel back a month, shake a couple trees for 5 minutes and voila. So again, if you don't have a major problem with time traveling, consider this, it's an amazing idea. Keep in mind time traveling can hurt your turnips as they will spoil, but it literally cannot negatively affect your island anyway else. 
The last couple methods that you can use to profit include trading bells for tickets. There is a channel for that, although the people on there charge a lot of bells, a hugely unfair amount in my opinion. But if you're rich or you abuse any money glitches or exploits, this could be an easier method than the last two. Now fourth and finally, a way you can make a profit without having to do anything is to simply invite people over to catalogue rare or cool items you may have. If you have an awesome item that people want, you could charge them one or two Nookmal tickets to simply pick up your item and put it back on the ground. This means it gets permanently added to their catalog and they can purchase it from their resident services whenever they like. I've seen people charge five tickets and let you catalog entire rooms worth of items. Again, the seller doesn't lose anything and the buyer gets to catalog some awesome items. Everybody wins. And that's about it guys. I hope this was helpful. Please, please, please leave leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the topic. If you have any questions, I will try and answer them at sonic speed. Leave a like if you enjoyed and share this with your friends. Have a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.